century link field in seattle washington these folks love their football in seattle this was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel and it was just absolutely deafening in this building they're set for football so are we as the seahawks get set to match up with matthew stafford and the detroit lions and they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. A bad start there, a big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Stafford now to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up Sagan down. From the 45 on second down, Stafford. This one complete to Lacey. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 27-yard line. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Stafford delivers this to Hawkinson, and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. I'm going back to you. I'm going back to you. Now Stafford. And it's caught here, Amendola. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's holding in on his targets, and he's delivering. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. An eight-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them but they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now, flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 16. Now it's Wilson. Flush to his right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunch. Into a double team and it's intercepted. 
Darius Slay with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mike by four, Mike by four, Mike by four. Ready? Shift, shift. Check 31, check 31. Hey, Alpha. After the interception, here's Stafford. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Detroit. Kenny Galladay, 69 yards. And the Lions strike quickly here for six points. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Rashawn Melvin, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. 53, ready. Jim, X3, 218, chopper. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Sack there by Rasheen Green. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. And here now the punter, Martin, booming this one away. Returnable for Lockett. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to... And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Darius Slay with a pick. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. Alert! 40 got! 40 got! Recon, 132 fighter! They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. This movement and deception can help the running game as well. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Amendola again, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. 
A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. He goes, set, 180. Black 5 Hey, 50. Hey, Haywood. <laughs> on first down at Stanford. Yeah, he'll find Hall. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 yards there and a line first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Watch out. Watch the 6 6. Pull it high. They run. This is Scarborough. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Extra point good by Prater. And that makes the score 21 to zip. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Now a play fake here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Kill, kill, kill. Turn very good. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Rashawn Melvin. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Nick. And got his man complete. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. It's a big play there for Seattle. 61 yards. 
They go play action here on first down. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. From the gun, it's Wilson escaping the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Tavon Wilson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, Charles, after that interception in the Super Bowl from the one-yard line, I thought Pete Carroll would run it inside the five every time. Sometimes I wonder if maybe Pete did want to run it inside the five. But Russell Wilson, you know he's such a competitor that he doesn't want that interception to stand, that maybe he wanted to be in that spot to hold it a second. I can throw a touchdown pass. Instead, he's victimized again. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Back to throw, Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Not too many teams will use a first round pick on a tight end, so you know that when one does, he's got to be pretty darn special. A small example of why they took him in the first round there, nice little catch and run to get the good yardage. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. From the 50 at Stanford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What well, does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told us, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Back, back, back. Set 61. Matchbox White. Bravo. From the end zone, Stafford. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Danny Amendola, the man he was trying to get it to. And that'll bring up second down. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. Touchdown, Detroit! Kenny Galladay, 83 yards. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead.